All right, welcome back to another video tutorial from Dynamite PC. I'm Craig. I just showed you how to put in a new power supply unit. And now we're going to do something way easier. We're going to install an aftermarket graphics card. In this case, it's an EVGA NVIDIA GeForce GT610. It is a PCIe, which is a PCI Express card. Um, there's two different kinds. There's PCIe and there's PCI. The easiest way to tell the difference is this little tab right here. PCIs do not have that. All right. There's two different slots for graphics cards in your computer on your motherboard. This top one is for PCI. We're not going to be using that. This one right here is the PCIe. There is a little tab right here that you're going to have to hold down when you're putting your card in or else it just won't go. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to put our graphics card somewhere safe. We're going to turn the computer, access the back. I've already unscrewed it to save some time, but there's this little panel right here that holds in these panels for graphics cards. And what we're going to do is you're going to unscrew this and take it off. Now you have access to these panels. And what you're going to do is take a flathead and you're just going to kind of pop that out, which is exactly what I did. <laughs> Take that out, it looks like this, toss it. Now you have an open spot. It's very simple. A lot of people go into things like this having a lot of anxiety. Um, been dealing with computers for the past 13 years professionally. And I've done a lot of repairs for family and friends. So I just figured I'd make some videos to try and help people out, calm that anxiety a bit. It might look confusing, but once you get your hands on it, it really isn't. So what we're gonna do is take the card, and you wanna get it in there, move the wires to the side. And where you remove that first panel from the back, you're gonna slip this right in there. You're going to line it up to where it fits. At the same time, you want to keep in mind that you want to have the ports lined up. And once they're lined up, you're going to want to push that tab in that I showed you earlier. Which will let you just slide your graphics card right in. So once you do that, make sure that all the ports are fully pushed in. Don't overdo it. You don't want to snap your graphics card. You don't want to break anything. I get all of my parts from Best Buy, um, the aftermarket store. There we go. It's in. And even if you're going to install something and you break it by accident, usually they'll take it back, no questions asked, which is why I deal with them. Um, I don't break many parts, but as you see, it lines up in there pretty good. I'm not sure why my camera is having zoom issues right now, but everything's all set. And this uh, specific card doesn't require additional power input so you don't have to connect any wires to it it's pretty much kind of like a plug and play kind of thing um, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna put this panel back on the back of the computer see if I could just do that really quick I'm using my dynamite ratchet screwdriver comes comes in very handy there are some 
other tabs on here, panels that you're going to want to move a bit until you get the area where you can screw that screw right back in. And I'm going to click this over so I can tighten it. As with anything, don't over tighten it. You don't want to bend anything on the back of your computer unit. Cases aren't too expensive, but if you don't want to spend that extra 120 bucks or something like that, then when I say 120 bucks, that's for like a gaming case. This is a Hewlett Packard. Now with this specific graphics card, it comes with HDMI connections, um, multi-display, everything. It comes with this little adapter for your monitor. You're no longer going to plug your monitor in where you used to plug it in. You're going to connect this adapter to the back of your graphics card, which I can't really do with one hand. Let's stick that right on there. Tighten it up. And that's good to go. From now on, you'll be plugging your monitor into this port right here. And you start up your computer, you reconnect everything which is something I didn't mention you want to make sure that your power supply is off it's unplugged on the off position that way uh, you don't damage any components or yourself <laughs> and that's pretty much it you're gonna reconnect everything start your computer back up install the drivers that came with your graphics card if you don't have a CD you're gonna go on your graphic card website in this case it'd be EVGA's website download the drivers and you're good to go thank you for watching